Great to be joined on the Panasonic newsroom by two men who know their way around the Panasonic Vericam. DOP Matthias Bolliger was one of the earliest adopters of the Vericam in Europe and Luke Barra looked after product marketing for the Vericam since its inception in 2014. So let's get right to it if we can, Matthias. Uh, what's the last four years been like working with Vericam? Yeah, the Vericam experience on my side starts in 2015 when the Vericam came to Europe. It was a time where I was prepping uh, another crime series, a Tart Art, and I wanted to give it a try. Especially the low light options looked very promising and interesting for me. So um, I thought, okay, let's try that one. And uh, I ended up using it. And since then, uh, I gained quite some experience with the 35, with the LT, with the EVA1, even down to the GH5. Uh, let's drill down into that, that dual native ice ISO look. Why do you think that's been so popular? Lots of people have fallen in love with it. Yeah, but w when we launched the first Vericam 35, uh, this dual ISO was like a, a wow effect. So when we did the, the demo switching from 800 to 5000, people were like, oh, wow, what is that? I cannot believe it. And um, then it makes sense for, um, for an, um, an operator to, to have because when you come from film, stock film, it's like having two stock film, one 800 and one 5000, and according to the situation, you can choose which one you will put on your camera. So it makes sense. And at first, it was used for low light condition, like, okay, with this camera, it's a special camera to shoot in low light. And then more and more DPs um, realized that it's not only for low light, but it really changed the way you can shoot. You need less light. It's less time to hide the cables, to hide the stand, less time between each shot, so you can shoot faster, you can change the way you light, you can innovate, you can find new, new ways of lighting. So this is really now something new that is um, more and more people uh, understand it and accept it and shoot with it. And that, that, that's, it's like a new light science. Is that, has that been your, your experience to two meters? Is that, has it changed the way you, you, you've lit scenes? Probably in low light, yes. Um, I would say it expanded a bit my creative and artistic approach. So, for example, for a TV series, I could go with zooms at night, which is quite, quite helping in the kind of speed you are working in. I was experimenting with polarizing filters at night. I went slow mo, slow motion, um, uh, the slow motion in night scenes or uh, sh uh, slower shutter angles. So to play around and to open up a bit the possibilities you have that I like. Uh, and, and in terms of the Vericam, what tips and tricks do you have? What, what you know, what what would what might uh, an aspiring DOP kind of learn from, from, from working with Vericam from you. Yeah, when you first time open up the Vericam or start it, I would just go with the native, with the two na native ISOs, so 800 and 5000. You may try as well to go over 5000 to 2500, for example, if you only need 2.5. So it's much better to go over 5000 to 2.5 than to push it up from 800 to 2.5. Thank you, gentlemen. So if you are looking for more information on the Vericam, there's loads on our website. It's business.panasonic.eu.